Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. For today's video, I'll be making a decor set. And I'll be starting with a decorative flower vase. I'm getting the shape that I want for my flower vase from a cardboard. I'll be marking down points that's gonna guide me while drawing the shape. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now this is the shape that I want to work with. But before I go any further, I'm going to get the midpoint and then cut out the shape that's by the side and then fold it to get the exact shape on the other side. I'm gonna need two of these, so I'm gonna trace out the same thing on the second cardboard. Now I'm gonna try and make the cardboard flexible enough for my design. This is going to be the base. I'll be gluing both sides, leaving the top and the bottom. I'm going to try to make this a little bit wider. This is the base and I'm going to get the exact shape from a cardboard by placing it on the cardboard and drawing out the shape with a pencil and then cutting it out with a pair of scissors. The vase needs to be well leveled and upright, so when you're doing this, make sure that it's well balanced on a flat surface.
When I was done, I took it out and I spray painted it silver. Now moving on to my favorite part, gluing on the spinny plates to the cardboard. I got this from Party City and I used two packs for the entire vase. I wanted the pattern to be like this at first, but then I later changed my mind to this. And I'll be attaching these plates to the cardboard with a strong adhesive and I'm using any 6000 glue and a hot glue gun. The parts of the plates that are not within the design are going to be cut down with a pair of scissors. These plates have a tendency to break all over when you're making a minor cut. So you have to be really careful while doing this so that you just cut the amount that you need without breaking the entire plate. These are acrylic gems that I also got from Party City and I'm going to use them to add to the design. Everything I did here, I'm going to be repeating the same thing to the other side. I'll be covering the rough edges with diamond wrap. I love the way this looks. It kind of looks like a cute, large metallic purse. Now to keep this space balanced, when it's standing upright, I'm gonna be putting heavy rocks inside. Because I love how this turned out, I had to try the pattern on something else. And luckily for me, I was passing by and this was thrown away by someone. So I picked it up, I cleaned it thoroughly, and then I put wood at the bottom. And then I got two extra wood that's gonna be for the doors. I wanted this to be black and silver, so I painted it black, and then one side of it was spray painted silver. The spray painted side is going to be decorated with the mini plates. Instead of arranging the plates straight like this, I used the same pattern that I used for the vase. The excess will be cut out. 
This entire project was super easy to make, except the part where you get to cut the plates. Because I was being extra careful, it took more time. I'm also going to be using acrylic gems to decorate the doors just like I did for the vase. I also got these rings from Party City and took out the part that I wanted and I spray painted it silver. I'm going to be gluing gems all over the top. These will be used as knobs for the doors. And this part here is where I'm going to be putting in the screws. The cupboard has no legs, so I'll be making legs for the cupboard myself using Dollar Tree plaques. I got two of these because one is too low, so I'm going to be adding two together and I'll be gluing them together with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. I want to cover the sides with mirror reflective paper, but because the surface of the plaques are not smooth, I'm going to have to cover it up with cutout pieces from a foam board. I made two of these to serve as the legs for the cupboard. Now here, here and here is where I'm going to be using this long screw to attach the legs to the cupboard. This is what both of them look like together. It is nice to know that a cardboard and a furniture that was thrown away can turn out to be this pretty. Hope you guys enjoyed this video now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well thank you all so much for watching now i have other home decor diy videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button